create the wheel tread, you're going to go to Start 2D Sketch. You'll click on the front plane, which in this case is the XY. Use the circle. And I'm not using the actual dimensions. You'll need to measure those on the Automoblox vehicle. But I'm just going to put in some values to work with. Here I'm going to make this one inch. I'm going to do a second circle. And come in and do a, another circle that would be the inside diameter. You could also just make it the difference between the outside and the thickness of it. Finish your sketch. Do an extrude of that outer ring to whatever thickness the wheel tread comes out to be. Then I'm going to go and make a tread cut out on top. So I need to use the plane. Under the drop down you'll choose tangent to surface and parallel to plane. Click the outside edge of the wheel and on the browser select the origin and the horizontal plane. For me this is the XC plane. I'll start a sketch on my new plane and if I'm making the orange wheel, it kind of has a pattern that looks like rectangles here. Again, you're going to have to dimension these to both the size of the tread cutouts and the distance and location of them. And then it has a little pattern off to the side. and the same thing on the opposite side. Finish your sketch. Extrude all of the little individual parts of the drawing that we just made. You can change it to a cut. And we want to cut it all the way through the top half. The reason for not doing or for doing that kind of be demonstrated here if I go ahead and just cut it part way in. You can see it's going to cut it to different depths throughout. It's going to be deeper in the middle and less on the sides. And just to illustrate, I'll go ahead and finish that part. Create a circular pattern. Select the cutout I just made around the edge here and you want it to come around until it meets again so that it's continuous. So you should be able to see that it's got a flat edge comes up to a point another flat edge and we don't want that. So that's why I'm going to back that out and right click on the extrusion go to edit feature and change that back to cutting all the way through the top half and OK and then I'll do my circular pattern on it going around the outside of the wheel. And that cuts it all the way through. The tread doesn't go all the way through the wheel. So to fix it, I come and start on the side, create a sketch. I'm going to do a circle that comes up to the bottom edge or inside edge of the wheel. And then a second one that comes out to the thickness that I want the wheel to be before the tread cutout starts. Finish your sketch, you'll do an extrude. It's going to be the same thickness as the wheel. And then we need to reverse the direction so that it goes through. Now, when I did that, it changed it to a cut. I need it to be a join, so I'm going to select join and click OK. That has the outside of the tread done. On the inside, there's some little tabs. We'll use the offset from plane and offset it from this plane we made on top. You'll bring it down the thickness of the tread plus those little rectangular pieces. Start a sketch on it. I'll create a rectangle and be careful to avoid any lines that pop up because if you don't it's going to tie it into that location you won't be able to dimension so it's better to make it a little bit too big or small and then use dimensions to fix it afterwards I can't see the rectangle that I just created because the planes underneath the top of this 
One of the easiest ways to get around that is to go to the View tab, select Visual Style, and change it to Wireframe. From there, I can come in and do my dimensions. When I'm happy with it, then I can switch back to the shaded underneath Visual Style. I'll finish my sketch, do an extrude, and I'm going to change it from distance to the selection that says to next. That's going to take it up until it meets it so that it doesn't go through. Click OK. And we'll do a circular pattern just like we did on the outside. So I'm going to select the little rectangle that I just made around the inside of the wheel. And you'll have to count the number of times that it repeats. I'm just going to put in an arbitrary number here and click OK. It also has a little ring that's on the inside edge. To get to the middle, we can go to the plane and there's an option for mid-plane between two planes. I select one side of the tread, roll it around to the opposite side, and select it. And that's going to put a plane right in the middle of that tread there. I start a sketch on this new plane. I'll do one circle starting in the center and it comes out to the edge of the wheel on the inside edge. And a second one that comes out to the size of that little insert piece. Finish the sketch. Do an extrude. Select this ring and set your thickness of it. And then we want to change it to symmetrical so that it goes half that distance in each direction from the center. And OK. At this point, I can turn off the visibility of all the planes that I've made. And the last step would be to color it. So up top, I can use the little color wheel that if I hover over it says Adjust. Highlight the entire wheel, select kind of the basic color I want, and you have to wait just a moment if you want to change the um, how dark it is. I want to lighten it up just a little bit so I can push it up along the top edge, hit the check mark, and that is the finished tread.